Aquarius, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband over at 7D Tarot. His information is going to be down below for you. Let's dive right in. So Aquarius, we have the wheel in reverse and the magician as your overall energy. Oh, and the high priestess. Okay, this is magical. So Aquarius, right now it's so important to know that you are truly the creator. But here's the thing. If we are not feeling optimistic or we are not creating a life from intention, right? Every single action must have an intention behind it. Otherwise, it will be uh, uh, um, uh, almost like... It will be too uncertain. It'll be too wobbly. If, if you, if you have action in your life or take action from something, but it doesn't have that solid intention of why you're doing it, it won't be strong enough to hold that action behind it. So, so it's important to know. This is why it's important to know who you are and what you want for your life. When you know who you are and what you want, which comes through the process of collecting data of what you like and what you don't like. For instance, you walk into a party and you don't like how there's a bunch of people there making fun of other people. If you don't like that feeling and you don't enjoy viewing that, you don't maybe go and be around those people again, right? Let's be collecting data. If when you get invited again, you might remind yourself, mm, I didn't really like feeling like that. Instead of the energy that's also going to be there of fear of missing out. Well, well, what if I miss out? Well, what if I something cool is there? Well, what if I, you know, meet my relationship there? What if the perfect person is waiting for me there, right? But your heart's saying, mm, remember last time you went and you were feeling really uncomfortable? Uh, you know, it, that's your heart. That's your guidance system. But then your mind will creep in and say, but what if? What if this? What if that? What if this? And that's where you want to be mindful of that contrast. Because again, we must create our lives from a place of intention and a place of a heart-based intentional process. Otherwise, we will be creating a life from an anxiety or a, a fear-based reaction. And it's important to know that there are a lot of opportunities that are aligning for you right now, but I feel like the opportunities are being, being resisted. And this resistance is only coming because I feel like you have forgotten how powerful you really are, Aquarius, how magical and how abundant you really are. Now, this is going to come through making sure that your connection to the divine is strong. Because if we connect to our outer world, we are connecting to what this person said, what that person's doing, the response we got here, what our work is telling us, how much work we have to do, this and this and this. If we're connecting to all of that, right, we're in it, we're, we're right there, then we're going to be depleting our energy. What you want to do at every single point of the day is remind, remind yourself that it's you, the universe, and that's it, right? It's you and your universe. It's you and your guides and angels. It's you and your ancestors. This is your team, right? When you are a solid team and you remind yourself of that, then you can walk through this battlefield of life with a full confidence that you know what you're doing and you're listening to the instincts that you have naturally flowing through you. A good way to bring yourself into this, this energy is to have a practice. What I like to do is literally visualize a white string of energy coming from my heart all the way up into the universe. This sort of brings me into the awareness that, oh yeah, I'm connected to the universe. I'm not connected uh, to my thoughts. I'm not connected to what this person said. I'm not connected to this egotistic response that I just received that made me feel uncomfortable. I'm not connected to that. And then when you're not connected to it, you're able to see it from a way where you can then respond to it that's going to leave you feeling in your higher self, not not dropping your standards, not, not, not leveling down, not lowering yourself to match someone else's ego or match match anxiety or match stress of the world. You won't match it. Instead, you will always be in your higher self responding to it in a way that leaves you feeling whole and complete. There is a natural process to things. And it's always, it, whenever we set intentions, these intentions come to fruition when the timing has all aligned itself. And again, this is a process. So right now, whale spirit is just reminding you to just trust in the great mystery of this planet Earth, schoolroom Earth, classroom we're all in, and know that when the time is right, there will be a magnificent new opportunity that's going to present itself for you. However, right now, the universe is asking for you to collaborate with particular individuals that will give you the information for you to be ready for this new opportunity. 
Now, the universe, remember, is always getting us ready to be ready to be ready. Whatever we're guided towards in this very time and space, like whatever feels the best to us, I don't know why, but I really want to learn about how to um, have my own self-sustaining farm. Maybe you're going to look up how to take care of cows or how to plant a garden or how to how to take care of a self-sustaining off-the-grid farm, right? Maybe this is something that you're being called to learn. You don't know why. You live in a metropolitan area. It's not even close to you buying a farm. However, the universe is getting you ready to be ready to be ready. So when you put a little energy into what you like, not only are you filling up your passion cup, but you are also giving your, leaving that portal of happiness open or your heart open to receiving that in the future, which is aligned for you. But when we neglect our calling, when we neglect something that we're being asked to learn because our mind comes in and says, why would you do that? You're not buying a farm. What a waste of your time. You should be going and doing this. You ought to do this. And then we think, oh, I don't want to do that, but okay, I'll do that. Right? That's where things get, get, uns get messy and get not fun at all and throws us off our purpose and our alignment. So Aquarius, just learn about what you're being called to learn about. Read a little bit more, educate yourself, find a mentor, find a teacher. Um, right now at this time, universe is sort of, you know, like, hey, you're gonna get better results if you link up with, with a particular being, maybe seek out a mentor of, of something that you're looking to learn about, um, perhaps maybe connect connect with someone that, you know, uh, that's been calling to you. But, but now is that time to just educate yourself and grow and learn into that with that calling that you're being called to do that, 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 that excitement, that interest that you're being called to do, because it is aligning you with your, your purpose. And we never know why we never know why, but it's always going to lead us somewhere. And I see here that there are going to be very interesting. So you're on a path where a lot of your subconscious fears are going to become to fruition not come to fruition, come to the surface. <laughs> and uh, so shadow work is going to be necessary on this journey. Now, shadow work doesn't always have to feel doom and gloom. Shadow work can feel very rewarding. We do have to visit um, times in our life with shadow work that left us feeling fearful or, or in a place of pain, uncomfort, uncomfortable, um, shame, guilt, um, unhappiness with ourselves. We're going to have to revisit that memory from a place of love and never judge yourself from a place of the, from an action you took from the past because it doesn't even make sense because you are, uh, you know, you have, or have evolved so much from that time in the past. Always look to a, a, an energy from the past with a place of love and acceptance and know that you are doing the best that you could with the information that you had at the time. And that is what the journey of life is all about is only to be able to evolve from one versions of ourselves, but never to be hard on ourselves, never to not come from a place of compassion or kindness, because at the end of the day, compassion and kindness is our true, very natural ways of being. And when we're not embodying that energy, we really block our ability to be able to receive from the universe because it puts us in a lower vibrational frequency and the angels and the guides and the universe operates on a, on a loving high vibe place. And if we're not experiencing that, because we're too focused on our thoughts, we're embarrassed of our actions, we're hard on ourselves, criticizing, judging, then we drop our frequency. And too many of us live in that in that frequency. And it just leads to a lot of depression and anxiety and, and, and mental health issues. And it's, and it's, it's most of the empaths. So we're, we're here to remind you and make sure that you understand that when you are in uh, an open, uh, 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 a, a joyous, uh, understanding of energy, that's when you will receive miracles in your life. And it really is just not about connecting to past experiences, to your thoughts, right? It's really detaching from them, right? Having thoughts like clouds in and out, watch them go by, having your um, awareness that first of all, you're not even your thoughts. Your thoughts aren't you, right? Your thoughts are everything that you've absorbed and all this accumulation. You're not your body. You're not your physical body. This isn't who you are. You're just borrowing this and you're not your emotions. All of these things are just here to help us live here on planet earth, but it's not actually who we are. And we want to disconnect from that. Now, I feel like right now would be a good time for you, Aquarius, to have some visuals of where you would like to see your life go because you are a visionary after all you're an Aquarius and having a vision board, the universe is saying might be really handy for you. Now this is, was really handy for me also being an air sign when I was rebuilding myself up from, um, you know, feeling the unworthy, uh, 
you know, typical empath feelings that we feel from, from going, experiencing this, this human life and building myself out of that and, and reaching my higher self. I always had poster boards up in my room that that was the first thing I saw when I opened my eyes. I am so grateful for my spiritual gifts. I am so grateful for my connection to the universe. I always trust the universe, right? Always words of encouragement, always words and always something that I wanted to build upon, something that I was interested in. I am so grateful. I am a natural born leader and trust me when I say when I wrote this this was the most uncomfortable thing I ever wrote because it was so far from what I believed but I had it up and I said it every single day and it allowed me to evolve into this because the more you see something the more it doesn't become uncomfortable that's why if you want to reprogram yourself around money um, scarcity have a hundred dollar bill in your wallet and see that hundred dollar bill and every day you see it and you make the choice to not spend it because you have it you have it there and it's your choice right you start to see the hundred dollar bill money doesn't become such a big deal to you, you see. So it's the same thing with our thoughts. It's the same thing with our beliefs. Have it visual so that you can reprogram your subconscious and you see it every single day. And this will allow you to evolve and create a life from your intentions and not from the reactions you're seeing in the outer world. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.